Here's a troubleshooting uh, issue. Yeah, it's one I've never seen before, probably the fourth or fifth time this week that I could say that. It's this little Acer Aspire laptop. It started out life with Windows XP, according to that label. It now has Windows 10. I'm pretty sure it has, yes, it has Windows 10. And it logs in with a Microsoft account. I had a phone conversation with my client as he was trying to log in. He says he puts in his password and it, it tries to connect and then it just goes right back to the lock screen and he has to press the enter key or click a mouse to get the password field to show up and he can type in the password again. So I, from where I was at in another client's office, I logged in successfully to the Microsoft account that he was trying to connect to with the credentials that he was using and it worked. So the account was okay. So then as I, he did it again while I was on the phone with him. He's got his eyes on it, right? And he notices something different. He's, <laughs> he logs in, he puts in the password, and he says, oh, it worked that time. Oops, no, it didn't. So what happened is it briefly showed the desktop. Then it went back to the lock screen. So it looks like it did log in for a moment, then back to the lock screen. I haven't tried it yet. This is live troubleshooting, except that I may pause the video to gather my thoughts for the next step in the diagnostic that I'm doing. So I'm just showing you my first attempt right here. And I got to pause because I got to go bring up the password. Hold on. Okay, so I found the password and I replied to an email from somebody else. And here we're ready to go. So if I bring up to camera three, here's the computer plugged into power. Uh, I think it's got some kind of a problem with the battery because this light down here is, is blinking. Press the power button. And I have no idea how long this takes to start up since it was uh, Windows XP originally. It might take a little while. Might be so. So there's a Windows 10 logo, spinning circle of dots. And that looks like a good next step. Pretty quick, pretty quick to um, splash screen, lock screen. And then press the enter key. So here we've got his, his login credentials there, or his, the username. And then I'll put in the password in such a way that you can't make out what I am typing. Uh, looking to find it on my screen there. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> oh, you know what? And I can even check to make sure I type that right without you being able to see it. Uh, I don't think you can see it from that distance anyway, but, I, but I'll go ahead and do this. Uh, is that right? No, I didn't type it in right. No. Oh, actually, I was looking at the wrong password on screen when I was typing it. <laughs> it's close to the same. See, I'm paying more attention to making sure that I'm <laughs> concealing the password than actually typing it. So let's see. So that, oh gosh, still not right. Close, close. Uh, da, 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 I just need to change one of those to a capital. So let's see if I can go back to that second character, backspace over that, and put in that letter with a capital. And then check. Ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, definitely complex password. Okay, so then click the arrow over here to submit that. And now, so watch, watch the screen. And let's see if it flashes the desktop briefly and then comes back. And I looked away for a moment. Not entirely sure. There's the splash screen again. Okay, so I'm going to watch that closely this time. I'm, I'm thinking that we did not see the desktop that time. And it might be only happenstance as to whether we see it or not. Oh, and it, and it clicked out of that field while I was typing. So, let's see.
There's no way you can read that from there, right? Do, 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 do. If, I, if I read it out loud to confirm it to myself, that would be a problem because I often do. I often do that. Okay, so then press enter. Now I'm going to keep my eyes on it because I looked over to see if I had actually unpaused the video. He saw the desktop. And I'm not seeing any desktop. I just tried to right arrow key. Yeah, see, I didn't see a desktop. So, did I type it right that time? Oh, I did. I thought pretty sure I made a mistake. Okay, so try it again. See if we can see that desktop. Okay, it kind of flashed. I'm doing a right arrow key. See if I can get anything. He definitely saw the desktop briefly. So I'm still not seeing anything there. I'm going to go to the power button down here. I'm going to restart and try it again. This is a fairly quick startup for such an old computer. What else do I know about it? Intel Atom inside. That logo, I sure it looks familiar, but I can't place what it is. Aspire 1 from Acer. Ultra thin 10.1 inch LED LCD. Dolby headphone, Wi-Fi certified, signal up. All that information isn't going to help us much. So here I've got a, I've got a mouse and a blank screen, which is kind of reminiscent of that black blank screen that happens after I put the password in. This seems to be taking longer. I don't know, is this longer than the first time it came up? Come on. Or is it just because I'm watching it? Computers do run slower when they're being watched. We know that, right? Come on. No, oh, this is definitely taking longer. What's up with that? Uh, control Alt Delete. Does that give me any response? No. Is there anything going on? This battery light's blinking on and off. Is there a hard drive light somewhere? This is a Wi Fi light and a switch for Wi Fi. I'm going to turn Wi-Fi off. I think that's what that is. Yeah, so when I pushed over there, it turned off. Then I pushed again, and it turned off. Is it just a momentary press switch? I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's Wi-Fi because it looks like an antenna symbol there. Oh. Oh, that actually rebooted the computer. Unless, no, there's the power button. There's a button here too. What is that one? I can't make out what it says. All right, let's use a magnifying glass to figure out what that says. Kind of dark there. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try a flash. Pro. Oh, that's an SD card. That's an SD card slot, isn't it? How does that work? Yeah. Yeah, that's just for SD card. Whoops. There. That's not a button at all. 
Now, let's try again. Huh, is that higher on the screen than it was before? Look at me, memorize the password already. Watching. My intention was actually to turn Wi-Fi off so that it would stop trying. Boom! What in the world happened? What is that switch? It says not connected, Net connections are available. So it, it is sensing Wi-Fi. So now I'm gonna try doing that switch. The light went off and Wi-Fi turned off. So yes, that's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi symbol here has an X on it now. Turn that on again and just press and release. It's just a spring-loaded switch. It's not off on one side and on on the other side. It's, it's, it's working. It's working. <laughs> well, that was a letdown in terms of coming up with some interesting troubleshooting experience oh oh my gosh my mistake look at this I told you this is Windows 10 I lied watch what happens when I press the Windows key yeah that's Windows 8.1 I now that now that you mentioned that he told me that so if I do Windows key R type winver press enter it shows me Microsoft Windows version 6.3 <laughs> yeah but down here Windows 8.1 Pro that is Windows version 6.3 yeah just go figure Windows 8.1 Pro with Media Center operating system all right so I gotta gotta restart this a couple times see if that fix holds I go up here to the power button and then restart. That's how I discovered that this was 8.1 as I pressed the Windows key to try to do a restart. And all that Metro tiles came up. Wow, I'm sure glad we got away from those silly Metro tires. Ty metro tiles. They were not fun at all. So, oh, I, I just saw a BIOS flash screen that I didn't see before. I don't remember seeing that BIOS flash screen. Maybe it, maybe it was there and I just wasn't paying attention to it. Which is kind of saying that, I don't know, is there something going on with video? This light was solid when I pressed that. All I did, all I did, was turn Wi-Fi off and then on again. Is it gonna work? Boom! It worked. Okay, so I'm going to do another restart and let you see that BIOS flash screen that I don't remember seeing before. What is the significance of that? Okay, so here we go, starting up. Black screen. That right there. I don't remember if that was there before. So I'll go back and look at the video. You probably already know that. And I'll let my client know that it's fixed. It's working. I'm basically going <laughs> to tell them what I found, what I did, because this may happen again. 
it's silly and foolish to try to come up with a more elaborate story about what you did to fix it because if the problem occurs again, you really don't want to. No, it's just silly. Just you got to be straight up with 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 clients. Tell them what the truth of the fix was, and uh, it's a happy day when it's a simple fix. All right, that's just the way it is. So I think we're done for this video. I hope that was useful. I don't know. We oh, oh, well here. Okay, what what's the real takeaway from that? The real takeaway is just try some different things. Yeah, it, it was at that point, and I was just looking. What can I do to mess with it to do something different to make to to wake it up to to try to get its attention to look somewhere else instead of being stuck in whatever maybe loop or dead end that it that it that it's in and I've done things like in caps lock and num lock see if the lights come on or off uh, th this has a transceiver here for a keyboard external keyboard mouse could unplug that and plug that back back in that that is relevant part of uh, troubleshooting um and just kind of a funny experience so once again i hope that was useful have a great day catch you later goodbye